What's up YouTube, I'm Mike and today I'm finally back with some bodybuilding content for all of you guys who have been following along with this channel for the past several years. My, my wife and family and I have been up playing around in the mountains. You've probably seen those videos. I'm going to have some more content coming up soon about what we are planning to do on that avenue because it's going to change a little bit. But today I'm bringing you a video that I think many of you will be very, very excited to hear about. Today what I'm talking about is what happened after I ran Trimbalone for one year straight. That's right, uh, I think this Sunday is coming up uh, my birthday. I'll be 42 years old, which marks give or take a week or so from, this, from when I started using Trin consistently about a year ago. Again, if you've been following this channel, that you know that during that period of time, I think I had two blasts, maybe three, where I used as much as 350 milligrams of Trin. I can't, I, I've run Trin so many times, I can't remember if I went up to 500 milligrams in the last 12 months. I know I went as high as 350, and then during the periods of time where I was effectively cruising, I cruised on a dose of 50 milligrams of Trin per week. I've made a number of videos talking about that experience, but today I want to kind of bring it all together. I have made countless videos, well not countless, I've, I've made quite a few videos on this channel going into my opinions on Trin because I think it is the most um, uh, un unfairly bad mouth drug. I think it's the most potent drug that you can take and I think it is the most efficient drug you can take for really any reason. Uh, there's a lot of studies out there, some of which I have, I have uh, made videos about that suggest that running low doses of Trin is actually healthier for you and safer for your body than high doses of testosterone. I found this to be very true in my personal body. I was able to run during my cruise periods 200 milligrams of test E and 50 milligrams of Trinbolone E and on that dose I was able to maintain the vast majority of, of the strength that I would get from Trin at much higher doses with effectively zero side effects and I was able to maintain all of my biomarkers including my cholesterol with the exception of blood pressure which I have struggled with for some time. So I take uh, 100 milligrams of telmasartan every day to stay on top of my blood pressure. With that dose of telmasartan during those cruise periods, I was able to maintain blood pressure around 120, 125 over 80, and my cholesterol was in line, my liver enzymes were in line, everything was in line. I have proved definitively that that Trent is not liver toxic no matter what all of the big names will tell you again I made an entire video about that so the sort of bro science the common knowledge the anecdotal information out there is that Trent is this incredibly toxic drug that it destroys your liver it destroys your heart it's neurotoxic it's all of these things I have absolutely not found this to be true um, I'm probably when 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 I'm when this bottle is empty, which is going to be very soon, I'm going to finally come off the trend completely and see how my body feels off of it. I think um, I'm probably going to replace it with a little Primo, but I'll save that for another video. Also, you may notice that I lost my beard while I was camping because I couldn't take it any longer. So, everything that you've been told about trend. On the one hand, as far as the psychological effects are very, very real. Uh, during my blasts with this compound, I have experienced every single popular negative side effect that you can name. Extreme aggression and agitation, extreme emotional ability, like totally disconnect my wife and my kids. Um, I, have ex I have experienced absolute horrific sleep quality. Anything over about 200 milligrams and my sleep starts to, to decline at 350 or above, it's nearly impossible for me to sleep without a lot of chemical help. At a dose of 350 milligrams or higher, it requ I require 20 milligrams of Ambien uh, plus some Delta A or some THC or something in order to get to sleep. And that's just get to sleep. I still sleep like shit anytime that I use Trend over about 200 milligrams 
At that 200 milligram dose, already the aggression and irritability is very real. The distance from my wife is very real. Typically, 200 milligrams, I don't experience um, any type of uh, night sweats, but at 200 milligrams, I do definitely start to experience catastrophic blood sugar crashes. Anything from 200 and above, and I have to be extremely, extremely careful about my food intake. Basically, I have to just be ingesting carbs or simple sugars all day long because my blood sugar will crash at a moment's notice. I have lost count of the number of times on trend. I was in the middle of really great sex with my wife. My blood sugar would crash. I would lose my erection and the whole thing is a disaster. Like I'm shoving candy in my face just trying to get my shit back together so that we can complete the act. The blood sugar crashes for me are one of the, the, the toughest things to, to combat. It, my blood sugar will crash in the shower. It crashes early. I mean, it just crashes all day long. And I'm not talking about like you get a little fucking shaky. I'm talking about rapid breathing, cold sweats, racing pulse, dizziness, inability to fucking really stand up. Like it will lay me the fuck out um, if I don't get on top of it. I have had blood sugar. I have had my blood sugar like that crash to 50 on the blood sugar meter, like near hospital level blood sugar crashes. So if you guys ever attempt to do trend, be very wary of that. It will make you think you are dying. Every single time it happens, I'm like, holy shit. Now it's happened to me so many times now that, um, you know, I've got a grip on it, but I'm constantly checking my blood sugar. It's, it's a total nightmare. To me, that is the number one worst thing about trend in any dose greater than 200 milligrams. And then the second is the sleep. Obviously, I can do something to combat it, but it's obviously it's not good. Like adding all this, I'm on enough shit as it is without trying to throw 20 milligrams of Ambien to the mix. I take 10 milligrams a night, every night anyway. But if you know anything about Ambien, you know that you want to keep the doses as small as possible and you really are not supposed to run it for long periods of time like I do. I've been on it for over a decade now. Um, so uh, as far as your physique goes, the number one thing, there's two real reasons that I really like to run trend um, during my cruises. One, it helps me to maintain a lot of the uh, uh, healthy levels of aggression. When I get to the gym, I still feel very motivated to work and my strength is there. So it makes me feel a lot better about my workouts. Typically when I go into an off phase and my hormone levels crash and my strength goes in the toilet, it, it, the, my workouts are not enjoyable. Suddenly they become just kind of going through the motions. I know I'm not growing. I know I'm basically just trying to get a pump, maintain my gains, not lose anything. And it's kind of hard psychologically to stay in the game for any length of time for me in that state, which is what would often lead me to not take long enough off periods because I just couldn't do like 14, 16 weeks of shitty fucking workouts. When I run that little tiny 50 milligrams of trend, my, my strength doesn't tank to the point that I don't enjoy going to the gym, which is a really important thing when you're trying to maintain your physique. Also, it, it helps me to maintain that, that trend aesthetic. Not all of it, but you can see I'm very dry. There's a lot of vascularity and a lot of striations to my shoulders, and I can maintain this basically year-round by running some amount of trend in my, and I know it's not TRT, my hormone replacement, whatever you want to call it. So um, it gives me strength, it gives me aggression, it gives me confidence, it gives me that sexual drive in the bedroom. Basically, as I've said before, 50 milligrams of trend gives you all of the pros and none of the cons. Um, obviously, I'm going to find out for sure in a little while when I completely get off of it. Um, you know, maybe there's some level of aggression that I've just grown accustomed to over the past year and that, you know, when it's completely gone, then I'll see it and wake up. Um, we have definitely made some crazy decisions in our house during the course of the last year, but I really think it's unfair to try to blame that on trend. Um, I'm just kind of a fucking nut anyway, and my wife has proven to be equally as nutty. So we just do nutty shit because that's what nutty people do. So... Um, you know, common knowledge would tell you that if you ran trend for a year, you're going to be a fucking dead man. Well, here I stand. Um, I'm maintaining my physique. I can keep my biomarkers in line. 
Um, definitely, if you decide to blast with it, you need to be ready to, to accept the full gamut of side effects. They are definitely going to come without a doubt. And this is me just running Trin E. I have never run Trin Ace. It seems like every single video I make about Trin, there's some people in the comment section asking me about Trin Ace. I have never run it in my life. I cannot, I cannot tell you anything about it. I will probably never run it. I usually do not run short acting esters because I don't like the psychological effects. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm an ex-drug addict. Um, it's something that I struggle with every day. And I, it, it's very hard for me to control if I can feel the effects too rapidly psychologically. Trend E hits me very quickly as it is. I start feeling the effects of Trend in the first week or two every time I increase the dose. So I don't really know why you would need ACE. Um, for me, the effects are, are, are very, very pronounced and very, very, they come on very quickly. So um, what else can I say? I mean, um, I have done great this year on it. Uh, if it was up to me, I would probably run it for the rest of my life. And I'm going to go get a bunch of blood work. When I finally come off, right now the state that I'm in, I, was, I had been on cycle for a while, many, many months. Um, I have just gotten accustomed to running 500 milligrams of test and a little trend and maybe an oral. <laughs> and if it was up to me, I would just stay there. I'm going to make another video um, maybe tomorrow or today talking about Anadrol. Uh, I have been running Androl for the past four weeks and I have come to really love that compound. So um, there's so many different you know, tools in our arsenal when we're trying to either build a physique, maintain a physique, cut up some body fat, you know, just look good for the beach. And I think that Trend, without a doubt, is the go-to compound to do all of those things. When I was in the woods, when we were out camping in Colorado, my diet was in the absolute shitter. I mean, I was starving out there so many days um, for a, a number of reasons just, you know, that I can get into into other videos. But the thing that is so amazing about Trend is it helps you hold your muscle in periods like that where I was in a massive calorie deficit. I come back from vacation. I'm concerned I'm going to have tanked my physique and I start taking body measurements and the biceps are where they always were. I've got shredded abs. I'm, I'm lean and vascular. And so the trend helps you save, save that muscle when you're otherwise not staying on top of your calories. When you are cramming those calories, it allows you to eat a lot of shittier food without blowing up. Uh, it really is just it's, to me, it's just the best all-around compound, and what I have found is that you really do not need a lot. I don't think for the rest of my life that I will probably ever go over 200 milligrams of trend again. I don't even know that I will go to 200. The psychological difference between 50 and 200 is profound. The sleep disturbance is profound, and the effect that it has on my relationships is profound, and I feel like I get so much out of that 50 milligram dose that the 200 really needs to bring a lot more to the table to, to account for all the side effects. And it just, I, I don't feel that it does. I think that you can get the best of both worlds, you can stay healthy, you can get the positive side effects without having to blast your brains out. Now if you're in a situation where you're still trying to grow, I have pretty much gotten to the point where I don't think I'm going to push my body that hard anymore. I'm certainly not going to do any massive blasts and try to like dump 15, 20 pounds on my frame in a few months time. I'm going to try to steadily increase my gains, but not by blasting my brains out. Like I said, I'm about to be 42 years old and my body just won't take it anymore. So um, it's very important in this video that I clarify, trend is not legal in a, the majority of countries. So if you're going to take trend, don't break the law. Do not consider this medical advice or legal advice or anything. You will definitely get yourself in trouble. If you're in a relationship, think long and hard before you consider doing trend. Definitely make sure your girl or whoever, your kids, your family are on board. If, you have, if you're in a situation at work that is volatile, if you're already having person, personnel problems, if you've got problems with people at work, do not take trend. You are going to fire on somebody and you're going to get yourself fired. I was almost fired two times, very close to being fired because of my attitude at my previous job. 
If it wasn't for the fact that I had been there 20 years and basically grew up with my boss to some degree, I would have been fired. Um, because I fucking snapped on this guy like you would not believe. The trend makes everything feel like a t catastrophe. You're at a red light and the light turns green and the fucking person in front of you takes three seconds to touch the gas pedal and you are ready to get out of the car and rip their asses out of there and beat their asses to death. Like that's what goes on inside of your brain. It makes you convinced that everything is a huge deal. You feel like everything is being done to you. You feel like everyone around you is attacking you. It's just like a fucking dark cloud, man. And, when, and I have gone on and off and on and off enough times now to know for certain it is the trend. Like my wife has put up with this shit for years and she's watched me go on cycle and have a very specific set of side effects and then come off and I make all these excuses and I'm like, well, it's not really the trend. You know, this happened and that was an extenuating, no, <laughs> it's the trend. I fucking promise you it's the trend every time, but the trend will tell you it's something else. It will convince you. It's like the devil, man. It really kind of is. It's like you're just injecting Satan and it takes over your brain and it tells you a bunch of shit because you do not want to get off. Like when you can't sleep, you don't want to get off. When, you, when you're sweating all over the place, you still don't want to get off. When you think you're going to murder everybody you come into contact with, you still don't want to get off because it gives you this ego that is insurmountable. You feel like a god at all times and who doesn't want that? But it will, you're not. That's the problem. You think you're a god. You feel like you're a god. You feel like you can talk down to everyone in your life and you will drive away everyone you care about if you either A, don't have a partner that's exceptionally understanding or B, I mean, you better learn to apologize. I can't tell you the number of times I've been sitting at the dinner table like, Damn, guys, my bad. I have been a fucking dick, and I know it. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't you know uh, get you off the hook, but I think it at least helps. So um, this is kind of a video where I'm trying to say, don't believe the bullshit, but believe the bullshit. Like the psychological effects, the way it makes you feel, the way it plays with your brain is definitively real. There are no two ways about it. This concept that it's toxic in this horrific way, I have yet to be able to prove. The one thing I can't know for sure is this neurotoxicity thing. Um, with neurotoxicity, if it is neurotoxic, it is definitely only because it affects your sleep. This is, I've talked about this before, Derek has talked about this. You can look up all the data on beta amyloid plaque buildup and how sleep deprivation can lead to that and they think that that's a cause for Alzheimer, Alzheimer's and, and dementia and things like that. So there's that, that definitely could be a play here. But as far as like melting your organs, it's just not happening guys. It's not liver toxic. I, I see no signs of cardio, of any kind of toxicity at all. My biomarkers have been uh, very good comparatively. It is also worth mentioning <laughs> that this entire year that I've been on trend, I have also been on uh, cabergolin, cabergolin, however you say that. Uh, that is definitely known to be to cause left ventricular hypertrophy. I suspect that I will certainly die of a heart attack whenever I do die, if it's not from like getting hit by a bolt of lightning or killed in a car accident. I definitely am damaging my heart. There's no two ways about it. My cholesterol stays elevated for too long. Steroids are known to cause left ventricular hypertrophy. Cabergoline can cause it, and I run anywhere between a quarter of a milligram to half a milligram of caber every single week, and I have been running it for a year without problems. Um, one of the other advantages to cabergoline is that it has some very positive sexual effects. It allows me to have little to no um, refractory period, and that's what allows me to do it sometimes three times a day. Like when, we're, when I'm on cycle, it's going down in this house three times a day a lot. And I could probably do it more just because the refractory period is next to non-existent and with all of the androgens, you fire on such a high level that, I mean, really the sky's the limit when it comes to sex. So definitely be aware of that too, guys, because dude, 
Like, it will fucking get you in trouble in your relationship. Trend will convince you that every girl that walks the earth is a fucking supermodel and that she wants to fuck you and that you can fuck her and maybe you can, but if you're in a fucking marriage, that shit's not gonna go well. And, and what I have found is that even when you're not actually chasing girls, like I have never cheated on my wife. I have never physically uh, had sex or anything with another woman. But a lot of cheating takes place in your mind. Like potentially the worst kind of cheating can take place in your mind and trend causes you to be so um, aroused or, or like just focused on every girl that walks by, it's hard to really feel committed to a relationship when you're getting pulled in all of these directions. And that could be going to Walmart or fucking Instagram, man. If you're on trend, get the fuck off of Instagram. I have spent so much time on that fucking stupid thing and you can very easily get yourself into trouble and do something you're going to regret. Luckily, I don't have that fucking... <laughs> one night stand, you know, I'm not the tall, dark, and handsome guy, so the girls are not just like beating down my fucking door, otherwise I probably would be in trouble. So be very aware of that, don't get yourselves in trouble, stay on top of your biomarkers, stay on top of your blood work, be conscientious, find a good source. I've talked about this, don't ask me, look at the previous videos if you're trying to find a source. Uh, but there you have it, that is what happened to me after I ran trend for one year straight, I have looked phenomenal the entire year. I quit my job. I started OnlyFans with my wife. I'm selling my house and I'm moving into the fucking wilderness to live in an RV. So apparently it doesn't make you crazy either, right? But at the bare minimum, I didn't kill anybody. So uh, that's definitely a positive. Uh, but for real, be careful and um, if anybody else has run this to this degree, like if you've... Um, if you've run trend for this long or uh, at different doses, I would love to hear your experiences in the, in the comment section to see if they mirror mine at all. Um, and that, I guess that's pretty much it. As always, hopefully this has been informative. Again, guys, this is not medical advice. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't listen to me. Doing trend for a year is insane, okay? No matter how much I sit here and tell you it's amazing, I would tell you a lot of shit is amazing that you probably don't ever want to do, okay? So don't listen to me and run out and buy trend because you think it's going to be good for you. It definitely, probably, maybe, will fuck your shit up. That being said, we'll see you on the next one.